Hello friends. Today we are going to fix the error. My computer is frozen and Alt Control Delete not working. Let's say you are using your PC, desktop or the laptop. Your computer is frozen now. Nothing is working. Even you press the Alt Control and Delete together, you are not getting the Task Manager. It's completely frozen. So in that case, what you can do? The very first thing that you need to do is you need to press or hit escape key two times all right somewhere in the left top corner of your keyboard in your desktop or in your laptop just you can see this key esc you'll see the key in a keyboard with the name esc so hit the escape key it is two time you can press it continuously for the two times repeat the steps for a couple of time three to four time still your pc do not give any response the second step you can try is press alt control and delete key simultaneously together all right together you're going to press alt control and delete with the three different finger together simultaneously so guys if this three key is also not working and your computer is not giving any response what you need to do is just repeat the step for a multiple number of time three to four times still the no response okay the third step you can try restarting your pc you may not have an option to restart in your laptop but in your desktop you can restart with the third step you can follow in your laptop what you can do is press the power button you have a power button in your laptop to turn on and turn off. Press the power button for 3 to 4 seconds continuously. Ok guys, whether you are using a desktop or a laptop, it doesn't matter which platform, press the power button. Alright, press the power button in your laptop or a desktop for 15 to 20 seconds continuously. So keep on pressing for 15 to 20 seconds or 10 to 15 seconds until and unless your computer is shut down. You'll see everything gets stopped, your fan gets stopped and everything. So until and unless your computer gets shut down, press the power button continuously for 15 to 20 seconds and the computer will shut down and you can restart your PC and you can turn on your computer again. So guys, how to get rid of this? So you can follow these steps if you are in a stage of frozen. Alright, so after you get rid of frozen, you have restarted your PC. Why it is happening, guys? Sometime your Alt Control and Delete key do not work. Alright, sometime your Alt Control and Delete key won't work. Why? Because sometime maybe your Alt Control, your Task Manager is disabled, Be and that happens because of a lots of viruses. So, guys, you just make a note of this two wave link. All right, you're gonna get a two different tools. All right, just download the tools and run it in your Windows PC. So two different malware tools. All right, these two tools will definitely fix all the malware, all the viruses uh, that is creating a problem for your tax bar. So install these two tools from this website, and then guys, you can just. Uh, clean your PC and then you'll not have a problem with the tax bar later on. Next thing what you can do is let's say your tax bar is disabled because of the viruses or some malware now. So how to enable the tax bar? So you definitely have to enable the tax bar otherwise again if you get freeze sometime your alt control and delete key is not going to work if your tax bar is disabled. So how to enable the tax bar? Give a look guys. Ok guys, before we enable the taskbar, before you make an attempt to enable the taskbar, be, be sure to run these two different free tools in order to remove all the malwares and then you can just run enable the taskbar again. If the taskbar is disabled, if not disabled, it's ok guys. So you can press Windows plus R, somewhere you're gonna see Windows key. In your keyboard press the windows plus r and then you're gonna see run 
you're going to type this gpedit.msc all right okay guys here you have gpedit.msc type it in a run command all right and click on okay okay guys in a few seconds you're going to see this pop-up window so it's a local group policy editor in this okay guys in the beginning you're going to see like this you just move it and in the user configuration all right user configuration you have administrative templates click on it and then guys here you have a system all right click on system and then here you have alt control and delete it's a control alt delete option click on it so once you click on it okay guys here you have a task manager all right give a right click on it okay let me make it big here you have a task manager give a right click on it and click on filter option all right okay let me cancel it here you're gonna see a policy setting click on policy setting and then guys here you have enable option select enable and then click on apply and then click on ok so enable the tax bar click on apply and then click on ok this will enable the task bar manager the next thing you need to do so virus will create some kinds of file like disable task bar which will time to time disable your task bar so we need to delete that files okay guys sometime by default it will be not configured okay so even not configured option is the best option even you can choose the not configured it should not be disabled all right if it is disabled you just choose enable or you're gonna choose not configured because by default it will choose the not configured option so it should not be disabled all right if it is disabled you're gonna choose one among these two and you can apply and okay all right you can choose anyone you can choose enable if you have a problem with enable you can choose not configured that is the default option it should not be disabled let's say you are not using the pro version of window and you have several other version of windows what you can do if you don't have a, this option in your windows you can go with the registry again press windows and r and open the run command this time we're gonna type R E G E D I T. All right, R E G E D I T. Click on OK. Give a moment. Okay, guys. In a few seconds, you're gonna see this. In this wizard, okay. Let me make it bigger. You're gonna click on Hey Current User. It's a H key Current User. All right. And then, guys, you're gonna choose software. Here is the software. All right. Choose the software click on software this drop down icon and then guys you're gonna click on Microsoft all right click on Microsoft once you click on Microsoft will come down and then guys we're gonna look for Windows all right click on Windows and then in Windows guys you're gonna see the policy all right here you have a policy click on policy so as soon as you click on policy you're gonna see somewhere right now I have an Explorer over here like Explorer just below that you'll see a system file I do not have because my system is not affected by malware or a virus if your tax manager is affected by a malware or a virus you'll see a system a system folder over here when you click on system on the right side you'll see something like this so there will be written the tax manager disable so you just have to select that file and delete it delete it do not delete this file it will harm your computer right now i do not have just below this you will see a system click on system if your tax manager manager is affected by a virus or a malware click on system you will definitely see a system over here and then once you click on system somewhere you're gonna see a file like this in a system with the name disable taskbar just select that and then you're gonna delete that files and everything is okay so follow these steps in order to fix the problem so very common step guys escape key alt control delete key simultaneously restarting power off 
and then in order to get rid of malware and virus if you have in a computer run these tools and then you're going to follow these two steps in order to fix the problem if your tax bar is disabled and you are not getting access to the tax bar by pressing alt control and delete so be sure to share this video you can help out many other people like subscribe and comment have a good day catch you in the next video